What are chromosomes? Explain how in sexually reproducing organisms, the number of chromosomes in the progeny is maintained. Let's see the answer of this question. So, what are chromosomes? Basically, the chromosomes are thread-like structures. So, these are like, you know, thread-like structure which are present inside the nucleus within the cell. Okay. So, thread-like structures. And if we see the location of the chromosomes, they are present inside the nucleus. Okay. And if we see the composition of these chromosomes, so chromosomes, these are actually made up of DNA and proteins. Okay. So DNA, that is deoxyribonucleic acid. So DNA and protein is the composition of the chromosome. So now let's see how it helps in sexually reproducing organisms and how it is uh, the number of chromosome is maintained in the progeny okay so what happens in sexually reproducing organism they form gametes and they f uh, these gametes they fuse with each other right so we see gametes involvement in sexually reproduc uh, sexually reproducing organisms okay so basically these gametes, they contain half of the chromosomes. Okay. So, chromosomes are, chromosome number is reduced into the gametes due to a special cell division that is known as meiosis. So, meiosis, it is a type of cell division where it reduces the number of chromosomes into half and each gamete will contain half of the chromosomes. So, we have two gametes that is male and female gametes. So, each gamete will have one set of the chromosomes. That means half of the chromosomes. Okay. Yeah. So, what is sexual reproduction? It is nothing but fusion of male and female gametes. So, when these two male and female gametes fuse together, again they combine a zygote, they form a zygote that contains a full set of chromosomes. So, you can see this when they fuse, they form zygote, and this zygote will contain all sets of, I mean, full set of chromosomes, and hence the formation of gametes by meiosis that helps to maintain the number of chromosomes in the progeny. 